G'day and welcome to Self Sufficient Me. I'm Mark Valencia and uh, we're going to go through how to tighten up a fence when you're making a, a fence, tighten it between the posts. In this case I'm using a hand winch and you can see how it's attached to that wooden um, half sleeper or split sleeper there and I've pulled it just past the fence. Well that's the start of it but let's go to another one. This is how I did the rear fence, which was about 80 meters long. So a fairly long fence for a, a small acreage and one guy to do. You can see I've used a star picket there and see how it's bowed in the middle. So it worked, it worked effectively and did a great job, but the half sleeper or the half split log is a better way to pull the fence tight. Now, with if you've got a star picket, um, I've just put them conveniently all the runs through the holes and uh, that makes sure there's an even pull on all the wire. So that works good as far as the star picket goes. And you can see I've just used a, a metre long strap hooked up to a turf or winch or hand winch and that's attached to a tree in this case or whatever pull you've got. There's not a lot of pressure on this. The, uh, the winch is attached to the tree with a chain. Um, these hand, hand winches, they're, they're easy to operate. They're easy to get in position. They're not that heavy. They only cost a few hundred dollars. So they're handy for the acreage or the, or the farm just to cart around. And there's the, uh, the reverse angle on the pull. And you can sort of just see the fence line there goes for quite a way. Now back to the wood and the split log. For this one I didn't have to obviously attach each strand to the log because the log just gets slipped down a, uh, a, a hole or a loop that I make in the wire and I just tie it over itself. When I go overboard you can see that I've just thrown a few runs over itself. There's no need to really tighten it up big time because the pressure is, is more than you could use with your hands or a person, but it's still not, you still don't want to like be pulling posts over or anything like that, getting it so taut. And then once it's pulled past the post, I then hammer it in with those U, U nails on each post, and then I come back and I just tie that post off. So we're getting into now the demonstration. So we're jumping back a step. And in this particular example, it's a bit tricky because it's a it's a dog leg pull. So it's harder to see with this video, but the second post actually goes in about two meters. And so I've had to try to pull it around that post to get an effective pull from where I've hooked up the, the winch. And I'll show you how I do that. So obviously I've put the post in my in my end of the wire which happens to be past the last post that I'm going to attach it to I just make sure the length is right and then you just start winching it in attach it to the post then I start winching it in hand winches take a little bit of time especially if they're out of fair way. But it's well worth it. Obviously couldn't get a vehicle in there. And then see how I'm just whacking it with a hammer at the bottom of that post. It just, the vibrations just help pull that, that wire tight. If you look right in front at, this, at the first post there, you can see the wire yeah, is fairly loose, but it's starting to get tighter. And as this video goes on, you'll see the wire tighten up. And there it is there. The loose wire's gone. It's all tight and taut. I just keep going back and check it about every couple of pulls so that I'll make sure I don't over tighten it. Yep, seems like it's right. I give the thumbs up to the camera. Just one final check and then I'll go along and I'll hammer in those U nails before yep, I release. Nice and before I release the pressure. There's the reverse angle. Uh, that's before I started to build the retaining wall. And here's after the retaining wall's finished. Uh, 
and you can see it's uh, it's looking good. That old post there with the two posts coming out of it is actually an old flying fox, but I've just incorporated that into my fence and saves me putting another post in. And uh, retaining walls all done. A picnic area viewing my chicken park. The plane going overhead, which wasn't convenient, but oh well. And that's pretty well how you pull a post, a fence tight and attach it to posts. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, jump on the forum at selfsufficientculture.com and come and visit the blog selfsufficientme.com. There's lots of interesting stuff to read and, and check out the videos and everything like that on there. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.